In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can find XPath if you want to use that in Web Element. And here we are going to use like Selenium import or Web Driver. And uh, you can see that we have written the code uh, driver dot get, and it will go to the Google dot com and uh, find element by name, which is Q, and uh, also it will send key like professional tutorial and implicit wait for five seconds and submit that and then it will uh, implicit wait for five seconds more now we will run that program and uh, we will see that what will happen and now google has opened and now professional tutorial is opened and uh, you can see that we have some error and it is failed to execute elevate on the document the string is not okay we have that x uh, x path which we are going to define but the problem is uh, some people or someone they are going to give you a very difficult uh, explanation of x path but here i'm going to show you how you easily you can find x path while you are going to use like google chrome now what i'm going to do for example i want to just open that uh, result and click after searching the keyword then I will like right click on that uh, element and we are going to inspect the element now here I'm going to click like select an element and we are going to select the h3 and here you can see the h3 class whatsoever it is written I'm going to right click on that one and we are going to come in copy and here you have like copy x path now i have copied the x path and uh, we are just going to target i have a variable which is driver dot find element by x path and here i'm going to paste the x path which i have already copied that one now what i'm going to do for example if i'm going to print uh, the target and uh, let's see what will happen and you can see browser opened google opened and keyword entered and uh, nothing has happened but in uh, like pie charm we are going to see that we have an element here but if i'm going to check the text version of that element then we are going to run the program and we are going to see what is the text if i'm targeting the same like uh, like uh, keyword like you can see professional tutorial and free online courses classes and training if I'm going to close that one you can see everything is he written here and that X path is like targeted easily by copying from Google Chrome and just pasting here now what I'm going to do next I will just uh, say that target dot click and it will click that x path and it will like enter in that website now if uh, like we are going to play uh, or run this script and you are going to see now professional tutorial has been opened and you are going to check the website what if we are going to say that uh, we are we have imported the time and therefore we are going to say that time dot sleep for five seconds maybe it should be there and then driver dot close and close the driver now once again i'm going i'm going to run the program and we will see what will happen and here we have like professional tutorial and we have like a click on that url wait for five seconds and then it should be it should close the like the page and we will see yeah it is working like for five seconds it is uh, taking time for five seconds and after that it will like closing the browser if i'm going to let that for two seconds and run the program and you can see it will now open google keyword and click on the first url and here you have like professional tutorial website is opened and then after two seconds when it will it 
loads then it will automatically close that browser now here you can find xpath easily and uh, how you are going to work with xpath you can you found that tutorial the example was there and if you have any question again you can write that in comment box below and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos which will be coming soon thank you everyone goodbye mm -hmm.